I keep my new pet rabbits happy and healthy? If you make sure your rabbits have companionship, space and exercise, a good diet and regular trips to the vets, you'll be doing your best to ensure that they remain happy and healthy. Companionship. Remember that rabbits are social animals and would never choose to love alone in the wild. Make sure that your bunny is kept as part of a pair or group, regardless of how much time you spend with them. Space and exercise. In the wild, a rabbit would cover the area of 30 football pitches every day. Even a large garden can't provide that amount of exercise. So it's vital that your pets are kept in a large hutch with an attached run so they can choose to exercise when they want. Rabbits are crepuscular, which means that they are active mostly early in the morning, perhaps before you've got up, and at dusk. An attached run allows them to exercise when they're most active, even if you decide to have a lie-in. You can fill the run with lots of toys, places to jump and dig, to keep your bunnies active and happy. Diet. The right diet is crucial to keeping your rabbit healthy, and hay is the cornerstone to a healthy diet. Trips to the vets. Your rabbits will need at least two trips to see the vet every year. They should be vaccinated against both Mixi and VHD, and jabs should be given at least two weeks apart. Myxomatosis is a pox virus, so 10% of it needs to be given directly into the layer of skin. This is the only vaccine where this is the case, and it can catch some vets out, so don't be afraid to check that your vet has remembered. Some vets like to shave part of the fur off so that they can see a bubble form when the vaccine is given into the skin so don't be surprised if this happens. Your bunnies shouldn't be off colour after their vaccinations, but if you are worried, phone your vet to discuss it. These annual visits are also a good time to have a general health check. Your vet may spot something that you didn't. It is important to find a good rabbit-savvy vet. Not all vets are good with rabbits, so make sure you phone a few to find out one you're confident with. Make sure they're used to routinely neutering and doing dental work on rabbits. Even better if you can find one by recommendation. Many experienced rabbit owners work with a local vet for routine health care but have a very low threshold for referral to a specialist exotics vet for anything more serious. This can work well and saves you travelling two hours just to get straightforward vaccinations done. More information is available from www.rabbitwelfare.co.uk